few people asking what are the benefits of me doing what I'm doing in this system on the left. As you guys can tell, lights are off right now since I'm running those lights in the opposite cycle. Two benefits that I'm seeing right now are of course pH and constant food input. As far as pH goes, of course, during the day, the pH is gonna come up just cause these two lighting are on and in the evenings I'm gonna start coming down and that's when I have these lights turned on just so I don't bottom out on my pH during the evening as much. And the reason why I decided to do this since I literally wanted to set up this tank here already and when I was looking into other things as far as cockpasta slurry, CO2 scrubbing media and both of those require either the extra maintenance or extra monthly cost or both. But this right here, it doesn't require none of the maintenance. Of course, there's a few negatives about it. They're not really negatives. I'm gonna go over those. You guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. And as far as pH goes, I'm not looking to raise my pH a lot. I'm just looking for my pH not to bottom out as much in the evening. Since already I'm doing a few things as far as my pH, I do have line coming from outside into my skimmer. I do have refugium lights that are around in the evening. And of course, I'm replacing all my evaporated water with cockwasser clear liquid. When I have my guests over, or if I spend too much time here in the living room, I'll open the window, and basically that will take care of everything. And as far as constant food input, in these automatic feeders over here, I do have different pellets, and I do put some of the foil food in them as well. I do use benefits, and I do use refroids as well. In this system, as you guys have seen in my last video, I run none of the filter socks, none of the filter floss. So basically, as far as food goes, when I feed these two tanks, these corals here in this tank will benefit as well since it's evening for them. They're getting all the leftovers that end up in the sump that end up back into the system and they'll feed on those. Ever since I started doing this, I started noticing a huge polypin extension on the micropores in this tank. Just let me turn on my rebrights real quick just so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. All right, lights are on. I'm gonna try to zoom in into some of my corals that just have crazy polyp extension. Not sure if you guys can see that rainbow loom right there. Polyps are just enormous. And right here, I do have my vivid confetti. You guys can see the polyps. They just have enormous polyp extension. I think it's pretty big deal for all the corals to get cut in the evening. So that's what they're used to. That's when predators are sleeping. And that's when they're extending and reaching out as much as they can so they can use the opportunity and grab all those particles from the water, all those bacteria, so they can eat in the evening since they're not getting bothered by all the fish and inverts. With all that out of the way, I just wanted to mention a few negatives, of course. First one is that they have this eyesore right here. I can raise this thing up easily, so it's not that big of a deal. Usually when I have guests over, I just raise it up for a few hours and I put it back. And one other thing is if I decide to transfer any of the corals from these two tanks here, this tank and opposite, I'm gonna have to do it in certain time of day. For instance, in the morning before these lights turn on, I can grab any of these corals and transfer them into this system. If I wanna transfer these corals to any of these tanks, I'm gonna do it in the evening, of course. When these lights are just turning on, I can grab any of these corals, move them here, and then these lights will be turning off, these lights will be turning on, and again, they'll just get extra for nighttime, and then next day, they'll adjust perfectly fine. And yeah, those are just some things, they're negatives, but they're not really negatives if you think about it. As long as you know what you're doing, you'll do just fine. And yeah, that's about it as far as today's video. If you guys have any questions, just put them down below. You can always text me on Instagram, Facebook. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.